Welcome back to the Rebirth. The time has now come to get started on construction, and in order to capitalize on Loot Sage bonus, I've selected a site in the Wasteland, overlooking a putrid toxic lake and just downwind from a radioactive nuclear power plant, it's the perfect spot for the Sanctuary of Steel. So we'll do as much construction as we can, and with the time left over, we'll see what work can be done around town. The team has been deployed, we've just been waiting on you. But now, it's go time. All right, well, today is going to be the big day that we get the big base started over there in the wasteland. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that I have all of the materials crafting that I possibly can. And we should have something on the order of about 500 cobblestone cubes there. Can I use the furnace to make any more? Yeah, there's an extra 141 shapes there. And what can I do for cobblestone? Basically, <laughs> nothing at all. And I'd rather save the large rocks in case I need to make something like a land claim block. There's always just so much to do to get ready and not enough time or resources to do it in. Oh, look at that, though. We can get tons of gunpowder. And that actually leaves us with a lot of extra coal to make the steel later on. So that should do us up uh, for the gunpowder situation for a good long while. So this is something I wanted to look at today. These auras. These auras give you like ma massive bonuses, but um, I haven't investigated this. I don't know what it's all about. I don't know how to make these. It looks like you just need kind of like, oh, you need the blueprint to make those. Oh, I see now. Okay, and that is made in the blueprint workstation, which... I don't know that I can make that. Can I make that? Ah, the research table, okay. No, I cannot make that. That would require pretty basic materials. However, we don't have the schematic to make it, which probably Tyler over here is selling. Are you selling it? Kamikaze. I see, ooh, that's expensive. But it seems like we need it. So I'm gonna take it. We'll take this mission and Ah, the Black Shields. They need me to uh, get some supplies for them from this location. Their attempts at retrieving the supplies from our other nearby location resulted in their couriers being blown to bits. Looks like some sicko is strapping zombies with explosives. Oh, so somebody is actually creating these kamikaze zombies. They're resistant to physical damage, so best to just stay clear. Oh boy. Well. I would imagine that's gonna take me to the wasteland, no? Oh, down to the desert, which is great. Oh, actually, we gotta go down there anyway to do some oil shale mining, because we need oil shale to make cement. Look at this, <laughs> cement. You need limestone and sand and oil shale. It's crazy. Oh, but by the looks of it, let's see here. You need two oil shale to make 10 cement, and then you need 10 cement to make uh, 10 concrete mix, and then 10 concrete mix is one block, so basically, you need two oil shale for every one concrete block that you upgrade, but also the concrete blocks, they take 20. So it takes 10 concrete mix to upgrade it, but 20 to create the block from scratch. So really, you're gonna save yourself resources if you just go from cobble, because you use the large stone to make cobble, cobble to make the block, then you use the block, then you use the 10 concrete mix to make the block. Does that make any sense to you at all? Basically what I'm trying to say is we should probably use a mix between cobble and concrete. All right, that's enough of that. I need to bring the soldiers with me because we're going into the wasteland and we don't want to get completely ambushed. Oh yeah, how's the garden going out here? Um, growing? Wait a minute, is that is that counting down? 83 minutes to go. Has the timer reset? Worry, oh crap, friend, I, think the, I think the timer reset because I updated the mod. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah, so like basically every time I do a recording, there's a new version of the mod. So I download the mod and then some things get reverted back to default settings. And I think my, my farm is a, is a casualty of that. Okay, ambulance or van? I think the ambulance is pretty good. It seems to smash through the wasteland stuff pretty well. So let's back out of here and see if we can find ourselves a construction site. All right, basically I want it to be still very close to the trader, so I'm just gonna do a straight shot over here to the wasteland, and I can definitely see the lake over there. So that should, I mean, some uh, just a nice lakeside resort is uh, just what the doctor ordered. All right, how about we just park it right here. There's a couple zombies to clear out. There's also a bear over there to clear out. Come on, boys, open fire. Come on, guys, you can do this. Oh, boy, yes, he's, I'm riding the bear now. I'm riding the bear, it's official. I didn't even mean to. Got him. That's good anyway. I uh, needed the bones and stuff, I think. Don't we need bones? We need bones, yeah, we do. Okay, and my uh, ambulance is slipping and sliding around. Can we just put the e-brake on real quick? 
There we go. All right, boys, we need to set up a perimeter here. And, okay, so we've got... Who's shooting over here? Someone's shooting in the water. Oh my, there's a zombie way down there in the water. Oh, there's several of them. Toxic radiated dire wolf is uh, swimming after this uh, cat de toit. Is that how you say that? <laughs> nice. Oh, that's funny. Here, I gotta help him out because uh, these guys are just gonna ambush me if I don't. Ow! Oh, oh, geez, getting shot now. I just saved your life, man. How dare you? Get out of here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, big bear is coming. Guys, help! Who did that? Oh my god, it's a huge wandering horde! Crap! Um, uh, get the mercenaries down and crap. Do I have any, um, no, I don't have any, uh, skeleton warriors with me. That's okay. Holy crap! Dank, are you okay? You're getting totally ambushed over here. Wow, that's a really strong cop right there. A thousand hit points. Wow, the mercenaries are so helpful. Nice. Are we good over here? Are you good? You're good. Where'd that bear go? He's still over there. Okay. Mercenaries, take out the bear. Wait, is the bear dead? The bear's dead. <laughs> My bad. All right, just give me a second to clean up all the bodies here. All right, I'd say this looks like a really good build site here. There is a loot bag over there. I'm gonna grab that, and then I'm gonna clear out this whole area. No trees, no blocks on the ground, no cars, nothing. All right, I think that's most of the junk cleared up that's gonna be in our way today. I think this is a perfect build site right here. The build site needs to be 11 by 19 for the foundation of the base. And we'll put the back of the base... Okay, we need to sort of think about, you know, what, where we're going to orient the front of the base, base versus the back of the base. So ideally, I think this would be like where we drive up from most, like 90% of the time. So this should be where the ramp is that goes up to the garage, which kind of means like that would be the front of the base, the way I have it all kind of drawn out on paper and then uh, i think maybe eventually put a helipad on this side because there's now a helicopter in this mod and i can't wait to get it the only way to get it is to buy it though and it's super expensive so uh, that's why i was looking into auras because there's a, a trade aura that gives you like better barter bonus and i want to get that all right that's what we're doing then let's get to work the first thing we have to do probably is carve out the perimeter so that we can set the foundation in just had to double check there. I think one of my <laughs> corner pillars was off already. Off to a good start. Measure twice, cut once though. Okay, that project is finished. Now, I do realize that I should probably go one further down and make like a nice thick pad. But right now, we just don't have the resources to do that. So put a pin in that project. Let me get the inventory offloaded as well because it's right full of junk that I've gathered so far. Okay, and then, so this is going to be a big base on stilts. I very rarely do like stilts type of bases, but I'm going to do one this time around. And so it's going to start like one in each corner. And then on the back end, there's going to be a central pillar. On the front end, there's not going to be a central pillar because this is where the zombies are going to be falling. And then you'll get, you'll have two sort of central pillars in the sides and then each one of these columns has to be a total of seven off the ground it appears i have enough parkour points to make it to the ground safely and now from the top here we just gotta make the platform the basically this will be the garage level and the horde fighting level here just gonna fill this whole thing in this is gonna be the bulk of our well it's not gonna be most of it it's gonna be about 200 i think i did the math on it this will be about 200 blocks to fill in this top portion here and y'all have heard about writer's block before well i had base builders block on this one it took me a long time i had a whole base designed out that was like a pyramid base but i just couldn't get it to work very well so i had to scrap that whole idea and then suddenly i came up with this idea this is going to be you know nothing particularly special nothing like you know groundbreaking horde fighting technology or anything like that but I'll tell you what, it's gonna look pretty friggin' sweet here. Okay, that's it for the pad. That looks pretty nice right there. Now, as I was doing this, I was kind of thinking to myself, hmm, should we should we maybe come up with some kind of a system where we can look through the floor to see zombies that are kind of beating on the supports down below? And I think the answer to that to that is yes. But this is just cobble, so we can carve that out later. I'd like to just get like the, the basic framework done for today until we run out of shapes, and then probably I'll head home and get the extra hundred shapes or so. And we will continue until we are 100% out. And then we can just focus the next couple days on resource gathering. I, If I had to say so right now, I don't think this will be horde base capable and ready. Because we need steel. 
for the horde base. Uh, I don't know if we can do that by day 21 or not. Okay, so what did we say here? We said that we're gonna drive in from this side over here. So this will be the garage door. And these like columns that I'm building up here, these are the columns that will go all the way to the top, to the tippy top of the base. These are the main load bearing columns. And so now I'm just gonna frame out sort of the bottom wall. Oh, that's the other thing. Uh, do we want to make like fancy windows or are we good with that? I think I do. I want to make fancy windows and doing the kind of fancy shapes here for the windows will help me kind of remember where they're supposed to be so I don't end up accidentally filling them in or something. Okay, so here's what we got so far. We've got the garage. This be a big drawbridge door that folds down to the ramp. The ramp will be out there somewhere. Hopefully not much of a target for zombies. We will pull up the vehicle in here, park right here. We'll have extended area here in the garage either you know for storage or workstations or extra vehicles and then there will be a wall here in the middle with a door right here like one of those nice roll up garage doors and then out here in the front is going to be one gigantic fighting position and I think just because I've experienced uh, one massive ward so far I think we need to make um like a fighting position with multiple redundancies and I think that this will probably carry us right here whether it's going to be like three fighting positions one two three um my design has it set for four fighting positions up here it's actually just gonna be one big fighting position so i'm gonna get that built up first and we'll kind of make modifications based on how bad the horde gets all right so now that that's done i'm not 100 percent sold on this but uh, i just wanted to get something in place for now i think let's see if i can jump down here without spraining something Ah, we're good. The task now is to see if we can build ourselves a ramp up there so that if we're here doing construction, uh, the zombies will just hopefully come up to the top where we can have soldiers kind of covering us. This is the tricky part though. We gotta do some very precise measurements here. So I'm just doing this trick here where it's gonna look like one block. It's, even, it's in fact gonna look like less than one block square, but it's actually gonna be four blocks for support columns to the ramp that leads up to the fighting position. And then now that we're at the top here, I'm gonna do the same trick that we're doing back at the home base and just make this gigantic like two by two like cube column that goes all the way across. Oh, but just like that, I have run out of shapes. So I guess we're heading back home, boys. Actually, you guys uh, sit tight here. I'll go get the shapes and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, hopefully with enough blocks to finish the job here and hopefully the ambulance is tall enough to get me up here to put them down. All right, this is gonna be the big cube beam or whatever we're gonna call this, I'm not sure. And ultimately, I don't think that structural stability will be a problem with this because it's gonna be connected by these big pillars here that we built. They, they look small, but they are, in terms of the game, the game's gonna think that they're very, very big, but it's also gonna be connected by the ramp that leads up to it. All right, that's it for my shapes. Okay, we've gone through about 600 or so maybe today, and this is what we got so far. And it's getting quite late. In fact, it is pretty much nightfall. So let me just grab the soldiers up before this gets real hectic. Yep, gentlemen, come with me. We are not staying here the night <laughs> because if zombies come by and knock out two or three of these support columns, everything's gonna come crashing down and it'll be a huge setback for us. But I'll give you the kind of lowdown right here. So zombies will come up, they will split left or right or probably both. And then uh, eventually if one side gets knocked out, we have some redundancy. They will come straight up to the fighting position here where we'll make those automatic drawbridge doors that I've done in the past will have four of them. And what my hope is, is that if the kamikazes blow one area all to crap, we can just shut that down and force them more over to this side. Not sure if it's gonna work, if the kamikazes will just blow the whole area up and we'll be screwed, I'm not exactly sure. But we'll figure it out as we go along. And if we need to, I think this base is amenable to some mild modifications. So it is now nightfall. I think probably we should spend the night mining. So I've got the soldiers with me already. I Let's swing back by the base though and make sure that we have the mother load glasses. Oh man, and while we're here, look at all the stuff that we should sell off. Man, let me get the stuff put away here and get the hot bar set up and then just grab all this stuff. We gotta sell it. And suddenly, what was the, is it shift backspace? There we go. And then what I can do is just grab my stuff back and before it kicks in, <laughs> run over to Briston. There we go, I'm locked in again. Okay, oh man, if only I had some, like a good better barter bonus. Briston, can you sell me a better barter thingy? Oh, he could, but you know what? They're gonna be too expensive and we, we decided that we were gonna craft those. So if you had like 
If he sold the blank ones, that would be a real benefit, but nope. Nope, all right, let's sell. All right, that was uh, about four grand right there, and with whatever's left over here, we'll just sell them to the other traders if we can. Okay, that will do it. An extra, like, $400, I guess. Not great, but I'll take it. Yeah, see, the better barter just too friggin' expensive. Wouldn't mind some mother load if you had that. He does not have it, though, today. Oh, look at this. Yeah, farming seeds. Whoops. Oh, he just restocked right in front of me. And I, oh, there's the farming seeds. <laughs> that means that you restocked too. Yeah, there we go. There's a minor 69er and a mother load. We could afford both of them. I think with the amount of mining that we're gonna have to do, um, let's just get the mother load for now. Minor 69er doesn't seem like it's as important because um, I can still, I can just one shot the ore anyway. I mean, I've turned up the block damage a little bit so that I don't have to spend so many part, like chunks of the episode mining. But yeah, let's just take the mother load for now then. We've got the mother load glasses Don't on. Worry, Was that seriously my first mother load? Holy crap. Man, I thought I had more than that. Whatever. Let's eat up, drink up, and I'll meet you over at one of the mining sites. Oh, here we go. Right here. Took an extra long while, but I finally found some oil shale out here. Let's get some light shining and bail out. Soldiers should be able to make short work of any of the regular zombies around here. We're on the border of the wasteland here, though, so... Careful for that. I'll also, ooh, grab some aloe vera leaves while I'm out here. Nice. All right, we're here for oil shale and stone. And should be able to get a fair amount of sand as well. So this should be very productive in terms of make uh, cement mix creation. Or, you know what I'm trying to say. That didn't take long. Got a demon coming now. Nope, that's a kamikaze. We're going to do the kamikaze mission while we're out here. It's pretty close by. It's, um, wait, where is it? Look out, guys. Holy crap, that's a rad cop. Or is that just Feral Cop? Ooh, it's a 1,200 hit point Feral Cop. Take him out. Making all kinds of commotion here, but we should be okay. Yeah, the uh, the Kamikaze quest is right over there. We'll do that after we're done mining. If I could just stop getting interrupted. <laughs> I've got, how long do I have left? Seven minutes on the Goldenrod T. You can hear some pump action shotgun action going on over here. And there's a soldier out here. Shelby, is that you? That's Damon. <laughs> Damon the Demon Slayer is back here. Killing zombies as usual. I would expect no less from Damon. What is up, Damon? Let me check your qualifications. Ah, not not maxed out, unfortunately. That's okay, though. Well, nice to meet you, Damon. Get back to work. I'll get back to work as well. Yeah, all doing all of this makes me wonder if there's a mother load aura. That's the two things we really need. We need the aura that helps with mother load and for better barter as well. So as soon as I'm done mining, we'll do that kamikaze quest. We'll get the research table done and we'll hopefully craft the blueprints for that. Whoops, I'm getting a bit of a collapse here. <laughs> Look out, Dank. Watch your step. Yeah, that's the thing about mining in the desert. You gotta be careful because the sand doesn't have the horizontal support that topsoil has. All right, I think that'll just about do it for down here. How much did I get there? Uh, somehow, when I was uh, picking up all the little bags that fell on the ground, I picked up a, a destroyed stone block. I don't know how that works, but okay. In fact, I'm not exactly sure that I even need it. Here, <laughs> just put it down there. And oh, dexterity level five, nice. I'm ready to move out. Just give the order. All right, here's the order. Follow me. Okay, so yeah, what did we get there? We got 2,700 small stone, which is really not that good, and 8,000 oil shale, which is much, much better. Here, put all this crap away. I just, you know, I can't help but notice how slow I move. It's really bad because we're not on like, um, you know, a, a proper running surface, I guess, like, you know, hot top or uh, a block like cement or cobblestone. Oh, loot bag over here. Gotta stock up on the aloe while we're out here though. Yep, give me all that. Loot stage is 53 out here. Some beer, I'll just drink that. It gives you pretty good hydration and doesn't blur your vision. And I think we're off to do the Kamikaze mission now. Where is that? Right over here. Oh, we're taking fire from a bandit there. Now nah, just ignore him. This is a Wild West town way out here, of all things. And... Wait a minute. Is this... Am I at the wrong quest out here? No, it says Research Table Kamikaze. It just happens to be right outside of a POI, which is... Wow, pretty cool. We're gonna have a Kamikaze Old West showdown out here. Haha, <laughs> nice. All right, very busy area here. Let's just secure the area first, and then we'll get to the fight. Oh, and, oh, oh, I'm on fire. No, no, that's bad. That's a fire immune zombie. Wow, I'm just realizing that that's a thing. We're supposed to be killing those. We gotta kill a hundred of them. Holy crap, we got 
gunfire from all directions. We've got, um, I think that's a survivor. There we go. Give me the bones. Another wolf here. Whoop, just it disintegrated him. We've got Joshua Aaron Finn over here, who's got the pistol. Just running off. Okay, well, nice to meet you. He looks very busy. We'll leave him to it. Oh, hey, look. Oh, it's the fine swines. We got to do that after this because look at all the cement mix is going to be outside there. Nice. We'll have to kind of maybe poke around a little bit out here. We got to kill the fire immune zombies anyway, so we might have to clear this whole town at some point. Yeah, I feel like the Old West area is pretty good for materials. Who's that? Oh, that's Joshua. Hey, what's up? Let's uh, formally introduce ourselves, check the qualifications, and uh, actually not too bad. 32 slots. I think that's max, but not max on the armor, which, you know, he's wearing a tank top, so <laughs> not surprising. Oh, and look at that. Another pair of charismatic nature glasses, so if I found someone I did want to hire, I'd just slap those on and I should be good to go. Oh, that was a bandit loot bag right there. Oh my god, look at all this stuff I'm finding. Okay, I'm not feeling too great about this. We can leave these, uh, ooh, what's this? Yeah, we can leave those farm plots there. We don't need any more farm plots. I think we'll be good. We're gonna have a big garden at the upcoming base, but I don't think we'll need any more than, I don't know, 50 or so farm plots? Okay, I am encumbered. Toss all that stuff in there. And let's snap this quest here. Lock and load first. And we'll see what happens. Hello? Kamikaze zombie anywhere? My sense is that maybe there's one around here, but um, maybe line of sight is blocked. It's a nice loot bag there. Holy crap. Is that him? Ah, there he is. Okay. It said that they're resistant to damage. Just basically let them blow up, right? Is that basically it? Oh, there's more. Uh-oh. Crap. Massive fires. Oh, boy. That's going to be fun. Or oh, the metal works is going to uh, completely burn now. No, research. It's, it failed. My quest failed. Wait, why did my quest fail? Oh, there's another one. He's um, inside the building here. Oh, jeez, guys. Look out. Oh, now they're everywhere. Crap. Oh, boy. Like a delayed reaction here. Well, that's unfortunate. We did fail the quest, so we don't get to do the... Uh the table. Am I gonna just have to buy that again now? Oh, um, everybody. Oh, crap! Creamy Ghost is dead! Oh, God! Creamy Ghost! <laughs> Damn it! There's another one in there. Now Bubbles is gonna burn to the ground. Dank, are you gonna be okay? You're good. Dank is all healed up and fine. Oh, look out. Yeah, I'm just um, not quite uh, understanding the nature of the mission there. Maybe let's just go try to get another one and see if it works better. I guess. We'll come back for Fine Swines another day, I think. The uh, the massive fires are going to draw in screamers and they're going to tank game performance. So if we just leave the area, uh, that should all go back to normal, hopefully. Oh, we're just having a look at the, the thing here. Wait, find the Black Shield backpack. Says completed. Stay within. So maybe there was a certain perimeter that I was supposed to stay in instead of like wandering around looking for the zombies that spawned in. Okay, so we'll just hope that the next one we get, hopefully, if we can get another one out here, will uh, be kind of in the in the wilderness and not so much in the urban area. Oh, check this out, a crashed helicopter. That's pretty cool. I wonder if there's any good loot in here. Yeah, actually pretty good loot. All right, rolling back in. Okay, Tyler. So your inventory inventory should have restocked. Yeah, we can just buy another kamikaze mission. As much as I hate to do that because it's really expensive. We will accept the mission and check the map again to see where that is. Uh, also in an urban area. It's actually like inside this POI over here. Now, this is going to be great. At least if we stay in the POI, we should not fail the mission. And uh, Creamy Ghost, didn't I set your rally point to be over here? Oh no, Creamy Ghost might be gone for good. Crap. Nope, Ivy's still in there though. Oh crap, we lost one of our soldiers. No. Well, we can hire two more now. Oh, that's a bummer though. We gotta basically find him in the wasteland. Damon would have probably been a good one. Uh, Shelby should still be over there. So if we want to grab Shelby Pope, we can uh, run over and do that. Well, Dank, it's just you and me. I'm ready to move out. Just give the order. Just a second there, Dank. I'm rolling on 762, rolling on cement mix, on uh, molten steel, <laughs> rolling on limestone fragments and sand, all kinds of stuff going on. Making uh, boards in here and making concrete mix in here. 
I think that's just about all I can do for now, so it's time to head out to the Kamikaze quest. Oh crap, hold up! We got a freaking zombie horde here! <laughs> Look out! It's an emergency! That should bring their attention in here. Hold up, hold up. Thanks, doing half the work for me. Okay, I gotta level this up, because uh, if we can level up one more in our sickle skill, then we can unlock the titanium sickle, or the titanium scythe, one or the other there. Look out. And I need coffee now. Great. Urgh. Oh, these are the, the the elite zombies, we'll say. The ones that get the speed boost. You can tell because they, they get, like, so close. They get right into your face, almost to the point where you can't even hit them. Because by the time you swing, they're behind you. Okay, good to go. I was also look having a look at some of the recipes there. And um, we need blue dye and red dye to make... I don't know, like, the the blue dye to make the blueprint paper, and then the aura book, you need the red dye, so we need to start stocking up on those things. Alright, rolling up on the spot here. Let's just check here. Oh! Stephen King! <laughs> Hello there! Got a pipe machine gun, show me your qualifications, please. Not that great, very, very low armor. But, um, I'll have you here for the quest, at least. Okay, research table kamikaze, yes, that's what we're here for. Careful not to leave the boundary this time. Let's just, like, see if I can fish out these zombies here before we start things off. Whoops, dang, you're in the way. Holy crap. Yep, we don't want any part of these accessory zombies in here. If we can get away with getting them out of here, that would be nice. Strength is now level six. Excellent. Got a couple of extra loot bags. Oh, wow. Yep, come back here, Stephen King. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the help here. Come on, give me that sweet red dye. Red and blue. That's a whole bunch of yellow on that guy. Yep, got basically nothing off of that. So I'm gonna stash it because I'd like to try to start selling most of the clothing. We're re doing really good on the cloth bandages and I don't even use them that much anymore because we have plenty of other first aid. But uh, yeah, a couple extra pennies here and there wouldn't hurt. Okay, hit the quest. And what are we looking at here? Okay, oh, this place is right full of zombies again. What the hell is this all about? Are the kamikazes in here? Is this a freaking a regular old quest, like a, a clear or fetch or something like that? Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I do see a marker for a bag. The bag is upstairs. Oh boy. Yep, yep. Okay, the kamikazes are here. Quickly now, just get the loot off of these guys. And let's head upstairs, see if we can just end this quickly. Holy crap, look out. Oh, right in my face. Look out, Dank. Try not to catch on fire. Yep, go ahead and just teleport to me then. Uh, the stairs, I think, are knocked out, so that should help. Hello? Who's got the backpack? Ah, there it is right there. Nice. Take that and mission complete. Well, presumably the loot has respawned in here, so I'll have that while we're at it. I'm not sure if the kamikazes are still spawning. I can hear them downstairs. Oh, did you hear that? That was like two of them blowing up at the same time. There's another one blowing up down there. Holy crap, another one. How many of these guys are there? Yeah, just, ooh, there's some red dye there. I picked up a good pair of glasses. That was sexy T-Rex glasses. I'll just toss those on instead of the mother load ones I'm using. And it sounds all quiet here. Just take an extra bandage taught me off. I think we're in a place where we can kind of take our time a little bit here. Okay, massive fire out here. Be careful, Dank. Try not to catch on fire. Everything got blown up in here, so I told you to be careful. All right, so while we're out and about today, let's have a look at the map here. Isn't there a clear quest nearby? There is. We could just hit that up on our way through. We'll have to get the Daring Adventurer glasses before we turn that in anyway. All right, let's go do that quest and then we'll head home. Whoops, here we are. Water department. Make sure you're locked and loaded. Yeah, good tip there, Dank. Oh, Wolf's gonna actually gonna help with some of the POI zombies, which uh, there are many of them, it would appear. Including several that are in there. Let's take that. Ooh, where did you all come from? Holy crap. This place is full. Oh, we're trying to level up in sickles if we can. Sickles and sights. Trying not to die, preferably. Okay, give me a run speed bonus here, thank you. And a first aid kit, please. Dank, are you alive, buddy? Give me a psychotic laugh if you're alive. Oh, we got a bandit here. Trahem, the bandit, is with us. There's the psychotic laugh. Dank's doing great. 
Okay, whoa, area clear. Look at the bodies here. It's awesome. Oh crap, you know what I'm just realizing is that I haven't even hit the quest yet. What? Oh, we gotta do this all over again. All of these zombies. Well, we need the XP anyway. And before I do, I'm just gonna have up all of these resources here. Might as well take them. There's lots of cobblestone, there's stone, there's cement mix, lots of good stuff. All the stuff that we need, basically. All right, that's enough for this place. Let's go hit the quest marker and do it all over again. Oh, it says there's a player inside the POI that I'm going to. So, Dank, you need to get out of there, please. And scratch that, I think it was my cameraman. <laughs> there we go, get the cameraman out of there. All right, we're doing this all over again or what? I know there's a whole bunch of you sitting over there, some soldiers, and there's a bunch that came from over here. There they are. Dank, you son of a, you body blocked by Molotov. Look out, buddy. <laughs> Oh boy, look what we did here. The whole mess of them coming in. Here we go. Oh, yep, I don't have the run speed bonus anymore. Do, do, do the best I can here. You know what I'm missing is the uh, the flurry of blows where I get like stamina back for every kill that I get. And, oh, I can't even move. Come on, get him. Well, massacre number two is over. Same deal again, gotta have these resources. I got about 2,400 cement mix going back home, which is gonna be good for, I think, 2400 concrete mix. I think it's a one-to-one -one on that one. Yeah, the big decision upcoming is whether we want to spend the resources on the existing home base, horde fighting, horde fighting area, or on the new area. Oh, geez, I was just gonna see if that was a lootable shelf there, and we've got this working generator, so I'll have that. Take that home with me. All right, one more quick loot stash. The ambulance is almost full, and let's head in here. Fast mover coming around the corner here. Ooh, Neuro. Turbo Neuro, you might say. Ooh, red dye there, perfect. Okay, so what's the way to get in here? Do we go in through the back or do we go in through the front? It looks like whether we like it or not, we can go in this way. The zombies have just opened the door there. All right, here we go inside. Oh, I can see a, a zombie icon. There's some downstairs. This place looks familiar. Have I ever been here before? Are there buttons somewhere? Because I'm seeing a lot of locked hatches. Wait, wasn't there a button? I saw a button somewhere. Where did I see that at? Ah, oh, right there. Tap that one and see what happened. That opened the front door. Didn't open that one though. Did this, this opened over here. Okay, so there's this hatch that goes up to the top here. Maybe that was already open. Zombies? Ah, yes, zombies down there. Got just the thing to work on them for a little bit. Oh, uh, expanded seating mod. No, oh, jeez! Those guys broke through fast. What the hell, man? Yeah, these construction worker zombies almost not even worth the effort because they only have the one rotten flesh inside of them. I think that was a bipod schematic we can read. There is a button right here. We can grab this, and there's just a bipod right there, so that schematic is now completely useless. What did this go to? I don't know, I didn't hear anything open. That might have gone to this hatch here that's already broken. Oh, hey, Dank. You cheater. You freaking glitched right straight through that. Oh, I guess we can just jump down here anyway. So how do I get down? I mean, I could probably try to squish my way down there, but then I wouldn't have a way to get back up again. Was there some spot over here? Okay, here we go. Is this gonna be open? Ooh, this is unlocked. Here we go. Is this where you're supposed to start, maybe? You start down here and you work your way up. I don't quite know the answer to that. Oh, Dank's just gonna freaking YOLO at himself. <laughs> you bastard. Messing up my plans. I guess the, the ball's in my court. I could change his, um, you know, put him on like um, hunting or no, put him on full control maybe. All right, eat that. Oh, sorry, Dank. <laughs> you definitely were asking for it though. Oh, you know, the ducking zombie thing is just the worst thing that they ever did to this game. Was that it? Yes, clear the area is done. Okay, where is my loot though? Aha, here's a button. Tick that, see what happened. Oh, there's the uh, loot, there's a loot chest over here. Ah, there we go, finally. What do we got here? Treasure map acid, not much else. Was that the, oh yes it was, we're out of here now, nice. Okay, that's good, we are good, it's 2030, and I think we're done here. All right, home sweet home. Just gonna get all this crap put away out of the ambulance. All right, everything's put away, and I still have the backpack in my inventory, so probably have to turn this into Tyler here for... Hmm. 
gonna go with the Molotovs, I guess. Ah, sure. So that gives me the research table schematic. Okay, so we're one short on the red die, and we need a bottle of ink. Can I do that? Okay, I just crafted the empty bottle of ink out of the furnace, and now I can make a regular bottle of ink. Ooh, that is expensive, though. Three black dye, ten tree resin. Do I have to maybe use a knife to get the tree resin? Have I been doing that wrong? Because I've just been, like, chopping it with the axe. I might go try that in a second, because that seems like a lot of tree resin there. Could I maybe make the, um... No, it was in here, the blueprint paper. No, oh, we need one more blue dye. Did I go this whole time and only got one blue dye? Here's all my clothing and stuff over here. Oh, there's a blue dye right there. All right, let's try it. Blueprint paper. Okay, there's my dye. There's my blueprint paper. There's my research table. And if I wanted to get an aura, the only thing that's holding me back is the red dye. We need to go kill some zombies to get that red dye. Let's go check on the neighbors. The neighbors always have zombies for us. I think there's actually a lot of zombies in there. So what if I just took the red tea and did a little bit of a run through there. Let's also get a uh, coffee into us. We're a little bit thirsty anyway, so that's fine. And then just do a quick run through over here. To oh, wait, there's a dead zombie right there that someone killed. Not what we need though, okay. Just bring them all out here and the soldiers will take right care of them. Let's go, let's go, wake up everybody. Lots of zombies in here, plenty. Let's try the second floor. Let's just keep going around until we've stirred them all up. Here we go, lots of zombies. Come right with me everybody, how about the third floor? Anybody up here? Oh my god, it's gonna get real choppy here. There's some loot up here too. Oh, there's a tier three loot chest and there's a weapon safe in there. Oh boy, can I get out of here now? Here, just go ahead and drop right straight down through the glass. And let's just hope for the best to bring them all out here for one big fight. Yep, step right up here, everybody. Step right up here and get some fire. Oh yeah, this is gonna work great. In fact, I might have stirred up too many zombies because um, they're gonna start despawning by the time they're all dead. All right, let them have it. Tank is doing a surprisingly poor job, it seems like, of covering me. Finish the last two off with melee and start looting up as fast as we possibly can. One of you has got to have some red dye on you. There's a red dye right there, we're good. Actually, this, this worked a treat, got a whole bunch of red dye and I get to go get the loot of that POI in just a second here. Holy crap, what was that? It's Ian McTavish, the guy that we had to get rid of because he was too fat to put the block down over there. <laughs> He's back as a zombie. Oh, 4x4 truck accessories schematic. It's actually a lot going on here. A lot of loot. Lots of stuff to break down and harvest up too. Interesting thing right here. What is this supposed to be? Like some kind of a sauna or um, hot box? Maybe a human oven? Not sure. Okay, we're in. And we got a double pocket mod. That's about it for that thing. I don't think I have the patience for another lock picking mini game. Not much. Hardly worth my time. There's more salt there. We need the salt. That's part of like the distiller or the distilled water chain of things of required materials. And iron breaker mod schematic. I already have an iron breaker, so I won't be needing that. And otherwise, it does look like we're pretty good up here. Let's go home. Oh my goodness, the fountain pen. What the hell is that? And how do I get it? Doesn't appear to be a craftable item, is it? Pen? No, but um, oh, let's just check and see if maybe Briston is selling this. Boost injector, um, it's not looking good. Crap, I wonder where I get that. Are you selling it? I don't see it. I'm gonna swing by Rex and see if Rex maybe might be selling it. Wait a minute. Cancel, 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 cancel. I gotta get the Daring Adventurer glasses. And it just cracked morning. Let's see what we get for a bonus reward now that we have the Daring Adventurer glasses on. I think I need a military helmet, so that'll be number one. And I should be able to choose a second one. Man, these things totally suck. But the most sell value will come from probably the hunting rifle, so I'll take that. And we'll get another job for later on today, probably. How about the grocery store? I don't think I've ever been there before. We'll take that. And what are the chances, Rekt, that you're selling a fountain pen? Nope, I don't see one anywhere. I do see a beaker. I need another beaker. We need a total of three beakers so far that I know of for all of the crafting stations. So we're all set on that. Good on anvils. He's also got a bellows over here. I've already got no, that. So I guess we're good here. Way. And that'll just have to do it for today. So we're not going to get the aura. We're still a ways off from that. And really, we, um, 
we're only trying to craft the aura blueprint right now, not even the aura itself. I haven't even checked on the recipe for that. So um, what I'll start doing is getting the inventory organized and I'll come up with a plan for tomorrow, probably a lot more base building. But anyway, my friends and fellow survivors, I think we can call it a day. Gah, get out of here. Oh no, no, no. Oh, what a way to end it. Damn it. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Hey everyone, I just wanted to say thank you for watching, for leaving a like, but most of all, thank you to the long list of amazing supporters that you see right here. I hope this episode has earned your subscription, and I can't wait to show you the next one. Best wishes to all, and goodbye.